For Sound of Hockey, Darren Brown here with a brand new YouTube show called The Seattle Kraken Minute. Welcome to the show. I honestly have no idea what I'm going to do with this thing. I'm just kind of spitballing here. I'm being honest. But, you know, we launched this YouTube channel this week, and I figured, uh, what better time to do a little something extra than the day after Matty Beneers made his triumphant debut, although the Kraken lost, but that's neither here nor there. Man, there's been a lot of excitement around this kid, no question. And this week has been really interesting. He came out for practice Monday and the place was jam packed, right? And we're talking like every seat in Kraken Community Iceplex was full. The windows up where the Kraken headquarters are, they were like surrounded by employees trying to catch a glimpse of this kid. And mind you, like we've been to a lot of practices. We haven't seen the arena look quite like that since uh, probably since training camp. So it was really, really cool to see that excitement. Uh, it also made us a little bit nervous because let's be honest, this kid is 19 years old and that's a lot of expectation and hype around him. Uh, but he really lived up to it in his first game. You know, I think we've been trying on the Sound of Hockey podcast to manage expectations for him because he is so young. He's going into the NHL for the first time. But he didn't do himself any favors to really help himself with limiting expectations because he was awesome on Tuesday uh, against the Calgary Flames. And I mentioned that the team lost, but not because of him. I mean, he set up the opening goal to Ryan Donato, an absolutely beautiful pass right through the seam. I mean, it was it was a very veteran, outstanding play, right? And you're like, okay, this kid is 15 minutes into his first game, and he just made a play that we're going to remember for a while. Um, and so that's a really great sign. As the game went on, you started to kind of watch him closely at both ends of the ice. He seems to be in the right spot all the time. There were several plays that I can remember at the defensive end of the ice where he's making good reads, he's cutting off passes. Uh, and another thing, like when he gets the puck, he seems to always make the right decisions with it. Like there were a couple moments where you could tell he kind of got stuck and like didn't have any support. And he'd just very calmly dump the puck deep and go off for a change. Exactly the right thing. He's not trying to do too much with it. Uh, but when he was getting those opportunities to carry the puck over the blue line, he was doing it. He was making nice passes. He got a good shot off in the uh, third period. He almost tied the game on the power play. I mean, it was a laser that Jacob Markstrom stopped. But man, what if he had scored that goal to tie the game? That would have been a massive, massive moment. I mean, even as it is, though, it's a heck of a debut. He played over 17 minutes. I thought he looked like a veteran player, not like a 19-year-old kid that was coming in for his first game. Um, so really, really great uh, first outing for him. Can't wait to see what happens next for him. I do think there's going to be a lot of ups and downs. I mean, the kid is so, so young. Um, but man, he shows very, very mature, uh, looked great in his first outing. So, uh, hey, let us know what you think about this. We'll do these, I don't know, every week or so, maybe, maybe every couple of weeks. I have no idea. Like I said, I have no real plan for this. We'll just kind of update you on what's happening with the Seattle Kraken uh, as it seems like a good time to do it. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Cheers. Cheers.